Kristen here trying to set up our new co-host, Abby, on a date. Find a right man has very little to do with Abby and everything to do with Kristen finally getting a win in the matchmaking department. It and, doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. And you guys are making it hard on her. I'm going to give you a break on this one. Thank you. And maybe things have just changed. I don't know. This is exasperating. <laughs> now you know how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> this like, isn't even your life. It's like nobody's trying. Okay. Nobody. And I keep saying that. And that's the thing I jokingly talk to my mom about all the time. I'm like, I'm just looking for a trier. Like I someone know. who looks like they wake up every day and give an S. So, <laughs> so let's go ahead and reset okay. this here real yeah. quick. And when we say they're not trying, we don't mean we're not getting applications and we're not getting like people interested. It's the presentation. Yes. That feels very, very lazy. Very, very lazy. All right. So Abby has come on the air numerous times and talked about the trials and tribulations of dating. Daily. And she has quite a few trials when it comes to dating. And I have tried in the past to flex my matchmaking muscle. Turns out I don't have one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I'm willing to jump on that horse one more time, even if I get bucked off. From my girl, Abby. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Trying to get her a solid man and trying to get me a W. It's a win-win. <laughs> my plan was to give up dating until 2024. And then literally the next day, Kristen goes, I'm setting you up. Yep. This isn't about you anymore. Well, after seeing these applications, you, you, you know what? That might happen. I'm going to extend it to 2025. <laughs> I, I am not setting you up just to set you up. Like this has to be like I have to feel it in my heart mm. and in my soul when I read that bio and then when I look at the picture and just know this is the one. If this was a football game, this would be your Hail Mary because you said if you don't do this yeah, one right, right, then that's it. You'll never try it again. I'm retiring. Mm -hmm even though I never really had a job. <laughs> I don't know if you can retire from a job you never had, but that's what I'm going to do. I, too, today am retiring yes. from the L.A. Lakers. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much the equivalent. <laughs> All right, so what I have noticed as I have perused every single one of the men that has applied to be your suitor, your match, your soulmate, the one you fall in love with, the thing that is irking me the most right now, so help me, if I see one more car selfie, <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind. You have the opportunity to upload a picture that's going to showcase who you are, your personality, um, you know, putting your best face forward, and you choose a car selfie. This tells me nothing, practically nothing. Everybody drives a car. You are showcasing none of your personality, and it just comes across lazy. That's what I was going to say. I, I'm thinking, dudes, mm -hmm. like, it's not so much the picture as it is the effort, which is a really good piece of advice when it comes to dude in relationships, period, right? You can mess things up, but yeah, at least put in some effort. The angles are bad. The lighting is bad. It's just all bad. Well, I was going to say my theory about the car selfies is actually sometimes you can get really nice lighting in a car. So a lot of people like how they look in the rear view mirror. So I think that go to your kitchen. There's nice diffused lighting by the windows in there. Same kind of deal. OK, so you can get the nice lighting. Just don't take it in a boring environment. It's so bad. Do they have their seatbelt on and everything? Oh, some do. No. Why does that feel worse? Some, some do. So one They're guy. safety. One guy <laughs> was a car selfie, but it was literally like only half his face. That, that, was, that was his good side. I, it was It was very bizarre. <laughs> you got to be your own marketing team. I don't know if we're being superficial here. I don't think we are. But like, this is your very first impression. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's saying more than what you look like. I think. Am I wrong? I mean, yeah. I mean, it kind of just shows that, like, you were in... Well, I guess it does make sense because if they're listening to us on the radio and they're like, well, that girl looks like she's emotionally stable and she's kind of hot, I'll take a photo right now and submit it in. And so if they're listening to us in the car, got to snap. But it, it does feel... It does feel a little lazy. It, well, it reeks of... Meh. I, it, I don't... It doesn't really matter. And if I get picked, great. If I don't, whatever. Like, it, it reeks of... I'm not really that interested in Abby to want to go out with See, her. See, this gets back to my initial point, at least from the outside looking in when it comes to dating. And dating apps is just that you've got so much quote unquote, I keep calling it 
calling it inventory, which makes it sound like very business-like. But there's, you're always just another swipe away. If she's not perfect, if he's not perfect, I'll just move on to the next one. And there are hundreds of people where back in the day when you didn't have that, you had to be a little more desperate. <laughs> it's like the difference between the people who send a job resume for one job as opposed to the same resume to 40 jobs. You just hope somebody calls you back. You don't care. And <laughs> so for those that are um, at the higher end of your age requirement, which is 35. Okay. Do not say... I'm a young at heart 35 year old. Oh, God. <laughs> Every single dude that's on the upper end has yeah. put that. I mean, and then we had somebody say, I'm a young at heart 53 year old who <laughs> loves younger, beautiful women. That still makes you 45. Uh, <laughs> 53. Never married three times. And then I looked at the photo and I'm 99% sure this is fake. Stop wasting my time. <laughs> somebody nominated their husband's best friend, Nick. And I'm like, remember, we said no nominations. And then she put, he's busy working. Well, if he is too busy working, then he's too busy to date my friend Abby. (laughs) (sighs) We got the fish photo uh, with them holding like the giant sea bass. Mm -hmm. Classic. Is that that a good thing? No, no, no. no. no, no. It's this weird like like man thing. Like, look, I can go out and and catch fish for you. But (laughs) women don't want to see that. Show me your face. Show me your abs. One dude (laughs) wrote absolutely nothing. I'm, I mean, he filled out the bare minimum when it said, tell us something about you. Nothing. Why do you think you'd be a good match for Abby? Nothing. And then he posted a gym selfie. Uh, Was he super yeah. good looking? <sighs> Moving on. Hmm. <laughs> that explains it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you got to give me something. Like, you have to write something. You have to show some amount of effort. One applicant just graduated from high school. I, that's that's not another one. You said you would be willing to do long distance, and I'm gonna pin this one on you, Abby. California is a little too far. Yeah, but how hot is he? <laughs> California is a little bit too far. And then um, you got a lot of dudes with beards that are digging you. So I wanted to get your take on beards. I like it has to be a nicely groomed beard. Okay. Like, do, if you look like you wash your beard, I'm into it. Okay, cool. If you got little crusty bits in it, I'm not into it. I'm a lady who's down for the beard, um, and I'm not kidding you. When I say 85% of the guys who have filled this out, all have they, they have beards. But what is it like Duck Dynasty beards? No. <laughs> okay, because that would be a fun setup. One or two of them were, but for the most part, they are like the, the closer shaven beards. Okay. It, it seems a little pathetic that, you, that we have to sit here and tell dudes like your selfies suck, that um, when we're asking for a description of who you are, you're not filling anything out at all. I feel so bad <laughs> for you guys in the single world that have to do it. If, if this is the the example of really what's going on every single day, like this is for the radio, and you would almost think that you'd put more effort in because you know we're going to blast you on the radio if you suck. So this is the best of the best right here? No, I know. I don't think this is the best of the best. I think this is just what we've gotten. And I almost wonder, as someone who puts a lot of pressure on themselves, I almost wonder if there's something about me that maybe says that that I'm just not worth a lot of effort. No. You know what I mean? I think think this is... This is dating 101. It yeah, really well, is. Welcome, Unfortunately. welcome to my world. This is why I talk about it so much because it, it it's a little irksome. Yeah. Well, the good news is, out of all the applicants, applicants, we have one potential. He is a gay guy, and said if you can't find anybody, he'd love to like be your friend. <laughs> you know what? I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> so how long do we continue looking? Are you going to take I don't know the best, or are you just going to say, you know what? Rather than you put your reputation in the very last attempt at this on these guys, you just like tap out and say, you know what? Or try it another time. Out of the applicants we have now, I I refuse to settle. And I, there's n- there's not one that I would want to set Abby up on a date with. <laughs> you know, not one. Not one I lie. really appreciate that. You know what? Because I was a little worried. I'm like, am I going to have to go out with somebody just for the sake of going out with somebody? So I like that we're going to take take a pause and yep. just wait for the right one, which I, is until 2025. I did not. I did not see this coming. <laughs> Me um, either. I mean, we can. We we have one. We're at a fork in the road, and we have one of two directions we can go. Either we can just close this up and call it a day. Or we can encourage more applicants to apply and actually, like, try to put their best foot forward and (laughs) give a little effort. Give it a couple of days, and then we can tap out.
if there's nothing else. Okay. Bird right. said this is your Hail Mary, and this feels like you didn't even get the pass off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, got sacked. you got sacked. I did. <laughs> yes, you got to get the pass no, off. No, I'm not sacked yet. I'm still stumbling. Yes, like, I'm yes. still like scramble. You dodging scramble. tackles, yes. and then <laughs> dodge that tackle, and I'm just looking. I'm just looking for somebody who's open. It opened. Nobody but the coverage field. is no. intense, man. There's they a lot left. of defense out there. They left the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> the Burt Show. Like what you just watched, you can get more of The Burt Show on your favorite podcast platform. Wherever you listen to your podcast, you can find us. I don't know what any of these buttons do, by the way.